So in this video, I will show you how you can import your VDBs from, from anything, like from any software, Blender, Houdini, anything, into Unreal Engine. This is going to be very, very simple, very, very easy to do. I will show you how you can properly color your smoke, fire and everything. So basically, you can just go to Jenga FX website. Okay, so in this website, you will see some sort of VDBs. Oh, okay, this one free vdb assets you have to just click on this and you will see you will get so many things so you can choose anything whatever you want to use just download one okay so you can see there i have some vdb files there then you have to just um drag drop this thing to your folder like for example i can just you have to just select one file like the first one and then you have to just drag drop you will see something like this uh, make sure that you disable everything because you don't need these things in unreal it will also take up a lot of space if you enable all your settings make sure that you enable none none for everything and leave temperature and density like this and then you have to just go and you have to click on import it will take some time to import everything so you have to just wait it depends on your file size and how heavy your vdbs are i have i think around 500 to 600 mb vdbs if yours is around 6 gb or 7 gb then it will take a lot of time right now you can see we have this um attribute space volume folder uh, so i will just put this thing to my vdb folder where is that okay so this is my vdb so i already have this type of files in my stuff so i will just remove this or i can just leave that uh i think it was in this one yeah you can see we have that file there and basically i will just go and create a new level here so that i can show you so you can't just drag drop this thing there it will not gonna work you have to just go to your place actor and you have to search for hetero i think it was hetero yeah heterogeneous volume you have to drag drop this and you will see that we have a heterogeneous volume so in this one you will uh, apply your material of your vdb but if you drag drop this it will not gonna work you need a material for this so the material is this one spares volume material instance and in order to get this you have to make sure that you go to all and then go to settings and make sure that you enable show engine content and then you have to search for uh, i think it was i've um i forgot the name of that thing it was i think where is that so you have to just type this thing spare volume material instance and you will get something like this or i will just remove the instance one i think it was this one yeah spares volume material this thing you will get this material make sure that you copy this thing just drag drop this thing to your content and copy here so you will get your material there you can see and you have to just right click and you have to create a material instance from this one so you will get something like this spare volume material dash instance you have to double click and open this one and you will see something like this you have to drag drop your files there so if i go to my content browser you will see that you will have this vdb files that you import from uh from jungfx so you will get this one you have to just drag drop this thing there and you can just enable the settings albedo color scale black body scale temperature black body tint use black body temperature everything you can just copy the settings you have to just simply drag drop to your heterogeneous volume and hopefully it will work so why this is not working because you have to enable something you will get a play option you have to enable this and this is not working you have to enable looping also you can see we have timer there but i don't know why this is not visible okay oh there we have this is so small that's why it is creating that type of issue so you have to just increase the size of this i will increase it to 150 and then we can just rotate this thing to 90 or um and now you will see that we have a perfect volumetric smoke or vdbs everything and you can also change the intensity of fire and everything you have to just go to your material instance and then you can just change everything from there so for example i want to change the color of my uh, fire just go to your black body tint you can just easily change the color of this thing so i think this is too much i will reduce this thing to like this yeah i think this is looking very good and you can just make it realistic like this or you can make this thing green yellow dirty fellow blue anything whatever you want to do you can do anything and you can also change the smoke density so you can just go to the density one this scale and then you can increase or you can decrease so you're just getting the fire without having any kind of smokes so this is the settings and then we have some temperature also but 
I don't think so you need to use anything. Uh, we have an albedo one and the albedo I think it is most of the time used for color. And you can also use this one black body. You can leave this thing to default I think yeah and it will work properly. So yeah this is the most easiest way to import your VDBs to give a texture and everything. So hopefully this will help you and yeah that's it for this tutorial thank you for watching.